Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to create scatter plots, get correlation coefficients, um, regression equations, and regression lines all in Excel. And we're going to do this without the analysis tool pack or any other third party add in. It comes with every version of Excel. It's one of the um, statistical applications that Excel does best. So suppose we have our, our data. We have um, the temperature in one column and the chirps, rate of cricket chirps in the other, right? And suppose we just want the correlation coefficient. What is the correlation coefficient? Well, I come over here. It is a function, so I'm going to click on the FX button. I know what it is, but suppose you don't. If you type in correlation and then hit go, it gives you these uh, options. We want the corel, C-O-R-R-E-L function. Open that up. And now it asks for array 1 and array 2. Those are just the two columns. And with the correlation coefficient, remember it doesn't matter um, which one you make x and which one you make y. The correlation coefficient remains the same. Uh, notice also I'm not highlighting the column labels. It needs numerical uh, cells. So that's A1, A2 to A13. A13. Then we'll do the chirps as array 2. Hit OK. And there's the correlation coefficient. Simple. Now suppose I want a scatter plot. Uh, again, this is really easy. I'm just going to highlight both of these columns. And I want um, temperature to be on the x-axis. So I make sure the temperature is my first column. And it already is. If not, you want to get your x um, variable on the left. So I'll highlight that. I'm going to go over to Insert, Scatter. I'll choose the first one right here. And so that's sort of the default format or the default layout. And there's other things you can do to make this look a little better. Uh, if you go over to Chart Layouts right up here that is visible when you're clicked on the chart. If you come out here, it disappears. But when you click on the chart, Chart Layouts are there. And I like this one over here. It has x-axis label, y-axis label, and a title. So I'll click on that. And notice, I have my two axis titles and my title. So down here, that was temperature. So I'm going to click on there and type in temperature. Down here, I'm going to put in chirps for my y-axis. Chirps per minute. Good. Temperature, I don't really, I can't really see them that well, so I'm going to actually go in and I'm going to um, increase the font. We'll go to 14 there, temperature on the x axis, and 14 here. And I don't really need this over on the right hand side. I would if I had more than one um, scatter plot going, but I only have one, so I no longer need that. So I'll just um, click on it and hit backspace, and it's gone. I'll give it a title. We'll say uh, temp versus chirps. There we go. Scatter plot. Looks great. So now suppose I want to put in the regression line, the line of best fit. I just click on any one of these data points in the scatter plot. And in fact, you have to right click and you get a little menu of options. We'll go to add trend line. The default is linear, which is what we want. Um, we're going to display the equation on the chart, and you may want to display R squared on the chart, but we'll do it for, the, for demonstration purposes here. I click OK. Notice it puts the line of best fit, the regression line, right in with the data. It doesn't exceed, it doesn't go beyond the data, it just goes right through the data. It looks very good. And here's the um, regression equation. And the, and the correlation coefficient squared, um, which is just the um, coefficient of variation. So what we're going to do, or the, what we call the explained variation. So I'm going to increase the font on that. I'll bring that up to, say, 14 as well. And maybe I'll even make it bold. Right? That way you can really see it. But I don't want that. And we'll get it out of the way. And in fact, you know what you can do? If these lines are getting in the way, you can click on one of the lines, backspace, and they disappear. So this now gives me my 
regression equation, y equals 4.0669x minus 204.21. And there it is. That's your regression equation. That's the um, variation, the explained variation, which is just this value of r squared. And you've got a good look and scatter plot with the regression line. It's great. Simple, easy. It's one of the few times in Excel where it does some statistical work really well. And we're done.